my movie recollection with Vincent Cloud. Matt Hagan. And me, John Nemeth. And we're here to talk about movies randomly and quickly. And uh, let's start from my list, because I have it here. Give me a letter right. and a I number. I just um, acquired an alphabetical die. Ooh, nice. Just Roll for it. this occasion. Did you get that from Vegas? No. C. As in? Cat. Okay. Charlie. Uh, C4, which is what I'm going to do to blow up this podcast. <laughs> oh. Okay. One word title. Carrie. Casablanca. Um, 1990s. 90s. 90s. Casper. I wish. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Not that it's better than this. Um, all right. Black and white. Clerks. 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 Yes. Um, I think we're all big fans of Kevin Smith. Um, I... First of all, I think this wasn't the first Kevin Smith. I think mine was Dogma and then Clerks, something like that. But holy shit, movie's great. It's hilarious. We go on and on how much I just like Kevin Smith. I, I dig that guy. I It's complicated with Kevin Smith. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a fan of a bunch of his movies at all, really. And I think my... My uh, opinion of some of the other ones has kind of faded over time. Clerks being one of those. Oh, wow. Um, I haven't seen it in a long time. It's just uh, it's not one I'm going to revisit. I know I saw it a few times as a teenager, but it's just not one I'm going to revisit. Uh, I, I know I was a big fan of Mallrats back in the day, too. That's not one I'm going to revisit. I think like his best is Chasing Amy and Dogma. Like those, I think those probably stand up even though chasing amy's definitely a touchy subject but i think it <laughs> it probably holds up i think in a, some strange way actually I, I just saw a discussion about chasing amy not holding up um, <laughs> people were talking about on a discord server i'm on i don't remember which one just on face value i'm sure it's it holds up terribly but in some strange way i think in my brain it, it's gonna hold up I, I i would have to see it again but clerics, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How about that one? Well, um, so Kevin Smith is entertaining. Like I've heard him on multiple podcasts, and that dude can just talk forever. And he's got so many stories, so he's definitely entertaining. But uh, did you guys see Clerks Three? Because I'm not a big fan of Clerks. No, I did not like Clerks Three. Just oh, I haven't. Sure. I haven't even seen it. I, I saw Clerks Two once and got some. We saw, laughs we saw out that of together. It. We saw that together. I like Clerks Two. Um, but yeah, I, I also haven't watched really like any of the Jay and Silent Bob movies for several years. Honestly, I would almost revisit Clerks the Cartoon. Yeah, there we go. I definitely enjoyed it at the time. And like a lot of the, the, uh, talking points and stuff from Clerk, Clerks, I think about, um, so, like the conversations they have and that stuff, which is what the movie is. Yeah, I think we're leaning a lot into like what he eventually became because I don't know. Um, I eventually didn't watch his movies or any movies really, but he that's around the time he went to podcasting, and that's where I follow him now. Like, I consider him a podcaster first than a director nowadays because I've tried. I've tried some of his newer stuff. Just couldn't get into it. Yeah. Well, just concentrating on Clerks. I mean, what's what's the best stuff from Clerks? Is it was it twenty seven dicks? Do I have that number right? Or is it thirty seven? Thirty seven. Thirty seven. Thirty seven dicks. Okay. In a row. In a row. <laughs> um, would you like to suck my cock, berserker? <laughs> uh, let's see. What else we got? Um, that, how about that, the? That, go ahead. Oh, no, I was talking. just going to say Randall. Randall was a, a cool little gift. I'm like, oh, what a smart ass. He's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, growing up, like, um, um, that's something we all aspired to be, right? A smart ass, <laughs> like, just like Randall. Um, but yeah, all the Star Wars references. How about the alternate ending where 
uh, let's see, Brian O'Halloran was supposed to be killed by some random uh, shot by some person oh, yeah. in the store. Yeah, that's right. Didn't he bring that up in Clerks 3? Where, like, uh, I, let's talk about that. So I haven't seen Clerks 3 yet, but I know that he, uh, Brian O'Halloran decides to make Clerks. He's like, yes. so then we get to see all the behind the scenes stories of the making of Clerks. I don't know. I, when I <clears throat> when I saw that trailer, I'm like, someone's up their own ass. I'm not going to watch that that's, shit. That's, that's the total impression I got. It's it's ultra, ultra meta. And I mean, it's a fine trip down memory lane, I guess. But no, it's not not good in any way. Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm trying. I'm trying to recall. See, I've got certain things, but I was like, "That's from Clerks Two. That's from Clerks Two. Clerks Two might be better than the original Clerks. Maybe that's wow. a controversial take." Wow. I think I only is. saw it once. Yeah. I don't know. The whole bestiality thing, I was like, I'm not into this at all. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. <laughs> and then Rosario Dawson has never done anything for me. It, I don't know. I don't think she could act. She looks okay. Everyone does. But yeah, I don't... She can. She's never convinced me of a single goddamn word she's ever uttered. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's a little I think, hyperbolic. But, uh, I think you've got... Um, You've got a thing against a high number of actresses. Is there something going no, on? No, there's this? there's actors. There's actors. We just <laughs> haven't talked about them, thankfully. A actresses? Are we specifically talking about females? No, no. Like fucking what's his name? Uh, uh, uh The Rock. Uh, Tatum. What's his name? Channing Tatum. Oh, I see. I see where you're going with this. There's okay. a lot of horrible. Where I'm like, fuck you. Like you got paid how much, and you're just kind of sleeping through this and. Okay. Or maybe you're trying, but you can't, and you're the brother of James Franco, you know? So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that could be anyone. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mrs. Franco was a whore. Right? Is that, what, is that what the joke means? I don't know what that means. Because anyone could be Franco's Oh, brother. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. I'm hilarious. Well, anyways, let's talk about Clerks, which is hilarious. I think it holds up. I like the uh, oh like the it. scene where he's like naming all the like porno movies in front of the kid. Right, yeah. mm -hmm. huh? All of Randall's stuff, man, is gold because yeah. the lead Brian O'Halloran and the character are just really lame. They're just very like. Meh. Not, Not even supposed, supposed to be, be here today. <laughs> yep, exactly. Way yeah. too you whiny know, for me. You know what? I think. I think. Looking back, I think the acting in the original might be better out of the two leads than it was in Clerks Two or Clerks Three. Some somehow these guys got worse as actors. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, he. Uh, well, who's the main guy? The main character, Brian Holleran. Oh, Holleran. He's hung up on his ex, and he kind of fucks it up with his current girlfriend because he won't let go of that. Um, I've been accused of that before uh, by multiple girlfriends. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's no longer the case. But I do remember that kind of standing out where I'm like, oh, yeah, Kevin Smith, you, you know me. Yes. You're into my soul, Kevin yeah. Smith. What else? What else? I don't well, know. You guys don't Jay, appreciate Jay. the... What? Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> what happened? Don't you guys like the DIY-ness of it all? Like, oh, that's definitely. kind of appealing. Oh, yeah. I like it. And, like, um, I've been watching quite a few full filmographies of directors and like kevin smith's first movie is way better than stanley kubrick's first movie you know what i mean like mm -hmm. there's a lot of really bad first movies out there and kevin smith did a pretty good job i would say right wow that was better than 2001 a space Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I don't, I don't think that's a hot take is it <laughs> uh but uh 
the introduction of Jay and Silent Bob. Like, um, love me some Jay and Silent Bob. And I think this was when they, this was a very small role for them, and they were very charming in the original Clerks, as opposed to well, I mean, I I still like like Jay, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, but um, after a while, it becomes too much Jay and Silent Bob. They should be minor characters. Ah, uh, well, hey, I feel like the colors left our faces like a black and white film. So let's move on to the next list. All right. Look at those segues. <laughs> uh, that- whose list? My list. Go ahead. Give me one through 60, one through 60. And it's in alpha order. Come 31. On. 35. I'll do 31 first because that's the first number I heard. 3135 is. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see. Starts with a K, one word. 1980s. 1980s starts with a K. Ah, boy, it's been so long since I've seen this movie. Popular? Is it? Yes, ish. It stars one of the um, one of the macho '80s action heroes. Hmm. Oh, uh, no. I was gonna say Krull, but he's not in that. Mm-hmm. Amanda was with a C. Oh boy, Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh, uh, kickboxer. Kickboxer. Right? Kickboxer. Oh my gosh. Never seen it. I think there's a guy who's a kickboxer. Ding ding ding. Well let me and ask you let me ask you this has, though, John. Yeah, go ahead. Have you seen Blood Sport? Uh no, but I listened to them talk about it on How Did This Get Made one time. They're they're the same movie, basically. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but go on. Yeah, <laughs> I I get those two confused too. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> It's the same damn movie. Holy shit. Not complaining, though. Yeah. I'm, tr- I'm trying to recall anything specific from Kickboxer. It's on my list. John, I remember have- even as a kid disliking the movie. <laughs> <laughs> like you saw through that already. <laughs> yeah. I saw, I saw through Jean Claude Van Damme pretty early in my life. Does he do the splits in it? I guarantee it. <laughs> Well, uh, John, do you think John Claude Van Damme wins possibly in the end? You know, I think he does. Oh my gosh, you <laughs> you might as well be playing cards all stay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I I I don't know if this was Bloodsport or Kickboxer, but the but so he's got to he's got to get revenge on a guy who. Let's see. So, so some, some big meanie guy um, um, paralyzed his friend or his brother or something. So then, at at the end, I believe there's the whole epic thing where you dip your hands in glue and then you dip it in glass and then you 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 fist fight the other guy with glass. That's one of these two movies. Yeah. Okay. It so is. that's where that came from. Yes. Because I remember the spoof of that and. One of the Hot Shots movies. Where yes, like Hot Shots. Dips it in like M and M's and like gummy bears, and... chips and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Are you guys uh, John Claude Van Damme fans? God damn it! Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. I don't know that I've seen a single movie that he's in. Oh shit! But you saw Bloodsport. I thought. <laughs> no, I heard. I listened to him talk about it on a podcast. <laughs> Uh, it's a tournament movie, and yeah, I think both things happen. Uh, a friend or a relative gets injured by the one of the fighters, and then at the end, he has to fight him. One is less problematic than the other because one is in yellow face. Um, hmm. really, yeah, I don't, I, I really don't remember which one because we're talking, I don't remember. Wow. See, this is this is what this podcast is all about. Pulling up a movie that we all barely remember. <laughs> I love it. But lots of splits. It it never made me want to do them. I don't know because like didn't they 
force him. Like they tied ropes and yanked. He's like, ah. yeah, D- draw and quarter. JVC or what are his initials? JVCD? AC JVD. Get the goddamn van kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the pinnacle of splits, Jean Claude Van Damme. I don't know. Did, is anybody more iconic for doing the splits? No, so. easily no. no. Didn't no. Norm MacDonald have a joke about not the movie, but just the concept of kickboxing? Something about like oh yeah, you take the beauty and grace of the the, the art of boxing and you m- mash it up with kicking, kicking <laughs> in that Norm Macdonald way. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's an easy one to remember. Nice and short. Usually Norm is long winded and beautiful, but <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, you know what? I I don't mind changing movies. I I know there's more to say about it, but. It really is just those two movies so interchangeable. But mm-hmm. I recommend both. I think they're they're fun. I don't recommend either. <laughs> don't watch them. Unless you're with a bunch of people and you want to laugh. Just don't do it. <laughs> just uh, yeah, just don't do it. All right, uh John All right. list. One through thirteen. This is still in four year, alphabetical year order. Oh, this is an alphabetical. All right, we got a four. One through seventy two. 61. All right. Let me do the math. <laughs> That's why we do this pod. Oh, my gosh. We've already done this one. 62. What, what was the one we already oh did? Oh, my gosh. We've already done that one, too. <laughs> what is with your list, man? Fantasia. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Oh, my We're gosh. Well, Should we 63? just get out of Fs? All right. 63. 63. All right. Um, it's the next. Alphabetical after Fantastic Mr. Fox. Two words. F A. As well, it would be after N. Fat, fat, uh, fat, fat man. Uh, maybe, maybe not after N. It's uh, animated. Yeah. Well, maybe not after. Uh, 1973. 73 animated. They didn't make animated movies back then. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's, uh, it's a foreign language film. Oh. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic Planet. Is that Ever that's, seen? that's the name of it? I've never Yeah, that's the name of it. Okay. Um, well, oh I guess we got Yeah, what do you guess? think it's about? Yeah, so man. it's animated 73. <laughs> yeah, Matt Vince says. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic Planet. It's foreign, you said? Okay, yeah. let's see. Fantastic Planet. Okay. So I'm going to say it has to do with Captain Planet. I think Captain Planet was around back in the 70s. He was that superhero, and, and he brought all the kids together where they had their power rings, right? So... um Let's see, Fantas. Okay, so so nope, that's all I got. This is the sequel to Fantastic Voyage. Instead of going small, they go big as planets. I don't know. That's all right, guess. so what it actually is. Um you maybe have seen at least pictures from it. So there's like these kind of giant blue alien things, like kind of anthropomorphic aliens. And then there's like humanoids that are like kind of tiny compared to them. Like, you know, like they could hold like a human in their hand and like the humans are kind of like pets to the giant aliens. Um, and it kind of follows like one specific human who um, kind of like gains the trust of like the, the child who, who's like, you know, the, whose house he lives in and stuff and like learns about how stuff works and ends up like running off and meeting up with a bunch of other humans and they try to like get revenge or whatever on the 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 aliens, which, and it, it's all like really surreal. Like the, it's not like a, you know, like a straightforward narrative kind of thing, but it's, um, Oh, it's it's a pretty cool watch. It's um, 
definitely kind of weird and trippy. Is it well, like director name? Anything we know? Uh, the original name is I can't speak French, but La, La Planète des Sauvages, directed French. by Rene Walou. Oui, oui. Um, yeah. That was a pretty good recollection because I know you've said yourself that you don't remember movies. So. Yeah, I just well watched done. this like within the last year. Oh, okay. It's fresh. Yeah. No, I don't. I everything you talked to, like I don't. Uh, that doesn't ring any bells. I don't. I can't even. No images in my brain of this. Yeah, me neither, man. But All sounds right. cool, right? Yeah. Surreal, yeah. not necessarily a straight ahead narrative. I don't yeah, know. and like you know, like you could tell some of it was like, oh, we're cheaping out and using like the same animation over again. And, oh yeah, and that, that kind of stuff too. But I don't know. I'd say it's definitely worth a watch. Do oh really? I was just going to ask for the ending. Oh <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I think they make it off the planet and go to like a moon or something, and then there's like. Other stuff going on there, but oh really? Oh yeah. shit! Okay, hmm. sounds uh, animated. Yes. Uh, yeah, I I just imagine anime. I was like, okay, that sounds cool, but oh, no, no, these aren't. This is not the case. Yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah. French illustrated. I don't know any other movies that are like that. Can you name another? Mm. French anime. No, I don't, I don't is that what you're saying? So. Yeah, Isn't like the triplets of Belleville, wasn't that French? Oh wow, never saw that. Dang. Uh, Ratatouille, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I say we get on, we get back on my list. How about that? Yeah, you you just your your list is very short and full of classics. You got to put all the bad stuff you've seen on there, Vince. That's true. Yeah, exactly. yeah for sure, for sure. All right. I just want to use my my letter days. So. <laughs> oh, Q! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, Q. Yeah. Q twenty four. <laughs> There's only <laughs> I only have three movies with a Q. I think haven't we done one of them? Yeah, we did. Quarantine. Right. Give me Q three. Is that quarantine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me Q four. Is that how this works? All right, yeah, I got Q2, one, Q2, Go ahead. Wh which one? I could. I uh, you said four. you said you have three, and I said four. Well, because because it's one. There's only four, but three was taken, oh, and then you said oh, Q four, right? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, what a misunderstanding. <laughs> okay, four, which one? Q4, Decide. Q four. Q four. Okay. Four. Four. One word title starts with Q. Quixote. Ooh. Um. Uh, um, Kate Winslet. Oh, hmm. I think I know this. Maybe. Jeffrey Rush. Quills. Yep. Never seen it. What do you think, John? I have no idea. Um, I'm guessing they run a porcupine farm. <laughs> 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 the, I I've seen this. It's foggy. So it uh Jeffrey Rush plays a famous writer or playwright. What is and he gets imprisoned? Is that correct? Or is this he's like that French yes. Uh who's that fucking writer? That French writer. He wrote about sex and shit like that, right? Oh, um <sighs> yeah, yeah, um, why am I drawing a blank? Desaad on something. Desaad? Yeah, Marquis de Sade or yeah, something like that. Oh, um, sexy. Yeah. So you have Jeffrey Rush as this guy, and he's like, "Oh, I'd like to write about cock and vaginas and boobies," and but like, you know, the society's like, "No," and they just, you know, he's in prison immediately, right? Or that's where we meet him. Uh, and Joaquin Phoenix is like a priest, right? He's supposed to try and turn him back or whatever. Because he's listed as insane or impure, right? But then you have Kate Winslet, who's like a I don't I don't even know what she is, some sort of maiden, and sl slowly getting uh, 
kind of seduced by Jeffrey Rush, at least his words or something like that. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> yeah, certainly not the face. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Matt? Do you remember any of this? No, I didn't. I didn't even remember Joaquin Phoenix was in it. I don't remember Kate Winslet from it. It's well, possible let... I haven't seen this movie. <laughs> Full disclosure. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, do you remember when Kate Winslet dies and then Phoenix goes up to her dead corpse and fucks, fucks it? it? Yeah. No. That's a real thing no. that happens. I just figured he fucked it. Yeah. I should Be probably cool. see this movie. Is this is this a good is this a good movie? <laughs> I now you're, now you're interested. I I don't know. I, like, okay. I'm a big Kate Winslet guy. You know, I just think she's hot. And of course, she gets naked. <laughs> like she gets naked in a lot of stuff. It's really her. weird. Yeah, I'm like, you're supposed to be like, you know, upper crust sort of, <laughs> but you're not. You just have the accent. <laughs> <laughs> you're not upper crust, Kate. Thank I like you, how you how you make up for all the all the actresses that you shit on by saying that you love Kate Kate Winslet. It's like a <laughs> makeup. Um, you still didn't answer the question. Is this movie good? Is it worth watch? I don't, I don't think so. It's really okay. weird. Like, like I said, it. I was disturbed that Phoenix plowed the dead Kate Winslet. What, when did you see this movie? I think I was age appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when it came out. Maybe a year after that, because I'm like, mm, yeah, Kate, she's is looking this dead <laughs> from the nineties. I feel like this is from the nineties. Right? No, it's like early two thousand. Early two thousand. This is after he won his Oscar for Shine. So that's yeah. This is early two thousand. Yeah. In uh, Phoenix, what's his fucking Joaquin. Joaquin? That's right, Joaquin River. Yeah. R.I.P. Uh -oh, oh my god, I hope Phoenix didn't do the same thing to River when he found him dead. Okay, that's very dark. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let's end the pod there. <laughs> and come back like a Phoenix. How about that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so uh I don't know. Do we move on? Um moving on. We can yeah, okay, one, one more here. movie. Twenty seven. That we'll slip it in like a Phoenix. Twenty seven. Give me another oh, number. 60. 60. Okay, this is a long title. I don't even know how many words is in it. it starts with the word I. The word <laughs> I. I see what you did there. I, I know, know what, what you, you did, did last, last summer. summer. I still know what you did last summer. Nine words. I just counted them. I really still know what you did last summer. <laughs> I know I said this uh, before, but I really know what you did last <laughs> summer. Trying to, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh it stars uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Elijah Wood. Hmm. Long after his Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Oh, man. It's uh, sort of a dark comedy. Some thriller elements. Hmm. I 2017 don't. is when it was from. Anyone Ooh. else in it? I think it was no a idea. Netflix exclusive. Yeah, the, the actress, I can't think of her name, but she's in a lot of stuff. Uh, ba, ba, ba. All right, I'm going to say it. Yeah. The movie Please is do. called I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore. Does Whoa. anyone know this? No. Mm, sounds kind of like a thing, but I've definitely never seen it. Yeah, I have no clue what it's about, but from what it's okay, let's uh Elijah Wood, he's depressed and he's like, I don't want to live in this world. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. And then maybe he meets a uh a, a, a pixie girl that makes him a manic love pixie life dream again. girl? Yes, exactly. Played by Zoe once again and Natalie Portman. They switch off within scenes sometimes. <laughs> The and other Kate, Winslet. Kate Winslet from, from uh, Eternal Sunshine. Yeah, and uh, what's her name in Elizabethtown? Oh, uh, Dunst. And yeah, Kirsten Dunst. Marie Elizabeth Winstead in uh, World versus Something, right? Yeah, is it that, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are good, man. 
uh, I had to look up this actress's name. This is cheating. But do you do you know the name Melanie Linsky? She's no. in a lot of stuff. No, no not by name. Stuff. Okay. Well, anyway, um, let's see. This was a Netflix exclusive. Let's see. So Melanie Linsky, she gets burglarized at some point. And she just by her, actually not by herself. Like she's going to go and try to confront the people. Like she, she's following clues or she knows who did it. But anyway, her neighbor, I think was Elijah Wood and they end up teaming up and Elijah Wood plays this kind of dark quirky guy. He's got nunchucks. I seem to remember. Um, so they go and confront the people who burglarized her. Where does it end up? I don't remember. I don't even remember where it ends up exactly. But um, I remember getting a few laughs out of it. I remember being okay. Nothing great. But um, Netflix, easy access. I think I saw the trailer for that. But uh, th yeah, and that's when I don't think I've had Netflix for a while. So yeah, I never saw it. Oops. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all right. That's all right. Elijah Wood stepping out of his comfort zone. I remember him being best part of the movie. Although Melanie Linsky, look look her up. Like she's she's been in like you're gonna immediately know who she is if you if you look her up, but she's been in so many things. Hmm. Um oh, this is cheating too. The director is <laughs> was Make Macon Blair. I've got the director and the and the cast list here. Macon Blair. Does that ring a bell? He did uh uh no he starred in shit what the hell was the name of that movie dang it uh, but he's uh, good no. he's good i'm 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 drawing blanks on names as this podcast goes well i mean go ahead and look whatever uh when i record with scott and dave they have the dvds right in front of them they <laughs> they, they basically choose oh, what they want to talk about without really telling me <laughs> yeah so it's fine cool. you can look up shit it's fine I let, I'm I'm more of a purist when it comes to this podcast, so yeah. I try to be a purist. Yes, I, I try right. to be genetically superior as well. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try one more quick one? Yes, from my quick. <laughs> okay. Let's get it in super quick. Two, one through thirteen. Two, and then one through seventy-two. Two, Twelve. Ooh, um, two words starts with B. It has Bad been boys. mentioned. What? No. Bad boys. It has been mentioned in um, the other podcast um, as part of a thing I hate, even though I like this specific movie. Uh, 1975. Um, I So I hated movie titles that are just someone's name. Barry Lyndon? Yes. <laughs> No way. Never yeah, we can't saw get it. Barry Lyndon in two minutes. All right, go ahead. Never saw it. <laughs> I know. Um, okay, so uh, I think I watched the trailer, but that was like, oh, just giant shots, but it didn't really do it justice. I have no idea what it's about. Uh, it's a guy, a, a aristocrat, who's like, oh, perhaps I long for more than just these yeah. simple whatever, you know? So maybe he gets into war or he gets hurt or something. He, he wants to taste life. That's all I got. <laughs> He wants to taste life, all right. Yeah, I'll give me that. Yeah, sweet. He's no, he sweet. doesn't. It's not really that. So he's he, he wants to be above his station. That's for sure. It starts out where um, he wants to get with his cousin, and oh, um, yeah. she's already like engaged with someone else, and he like they like basically the whole community he's in stages this thing where he has a duel with the guy makes him think that he killed the guy and he has to like leave town, but it was all like fake just to get rid of him, which is hilarious. And then he ends up like getting robbed, loses all his money, ends up having to join the army, um, goes and like, um, like turns out like that's dangerous and scary. So he like just kind of goes AWOL, meets up, like he somehow like, becomes like a spy for the opposing side and like does that for a while and then like lives with this aristocrat on the other side he uh um 
makes a lot of money gambling there, but just kind of becomes an asshole in that community. And they all decide they want to get rid of him too. And oh, yeah, he ends up like marrying a countess or something, but her, the countess's son and him do not get along at all. And there's this amazing scene towards the end where he has a duel with the the count the countess's son, who is like a real dipshit. Um, but he the son accidentally fires into the ground. Um the Barry is like, oh, you know what? I'll fire into the ground too. <laughs> and then like they ask the guy, like, oh, do you want another shot? And he's like, fuck yeah. And he like shoots him then. <laughs> Whoa. That's like the best thing I've ever seen. Wow. Do you tell him, you recalled a whole lot of that and it kind of makes me want to revisit it. But let me just say, a lot of people say this movie's hilarious. I found it dry and dull and I did not like this movie. And we have less than a minute. So like, <laughs> subscribe, comment. This is my movie recollection with Vince Clark. Matt Hagen. John Emmett. Thank you.